everyone, Chalk Phantom One here, and welcome back. I'm excited. It's time. It's time for the festive videos. It's time for the Christmassy videos. It's time for the Christmas movies. So, what are we starting off the awesome holiday season with? Well, I thought we'd start off with an absolute classic. I've never seen, but I know I've heard a lot of people tell me that I should see. It's just, it's so iconic. Everybody has referenced it or seen it at some point or told me that I'm crazy for not seeing it. If you haven't read the title or seen the thumbnail, we are watching Home Alone for the very first time. Yes, I grew up not watching this movie. Know nothing about it. I know, I guess I do know some things about it. I know that there's two burglars. I know that uh, Macaulay Culkin is the main kid. I know that his family forgets him. Well, they go on a trip to, I want to say it's Paris or something. I've seen like a few minutes of this movie and I feel like the only part that I've seen is where they order pizza and they don't get his favorite kind or something. But other than that, I get the premise of the movie. I get I get the baseline of the movie. But have I ever seen the movie? Have I ever sat down and actually physically watched this movie? No. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm very excited to get into it. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is what I remember. What is happening? Aww. Why can't I? Kevin, I'm on the phone. When you that was kind of rude. That's a rude. Not even rated R. He's just being a jerk. Kevin, if Uncle Frank says no, then it must be really bad. <laughs> no, we're not bringing the dog. Put it in the kennel for the. Hey, hey, hey! Get off, Kevin! Out of the room. Hang up the phone and make me. Why don't you? Wow, that kid really said that to her and she took it. No, I didn't have time to do that. Well, how am I supposed to shave in France? Grow goatee. Dad, nobody let me do anything. Did you yeah, but they don't live here. Excuse me, miss. Are your parents here? My parents live in Paris. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Are your parents home? Yeah. Do they live here? No. How many of these kids are not their kids? All kids. No parents. Probably a fancy orphanage. I don't know how to pack a suitcase. I've never done this once in my whole life. It's not Tough. that hard, bud. That's what Megan said. What did I say? You told Kevin Tuck. The dope was whining about a suitcase. What am I supposed to do? Shake his hand and say congratulations, you're an idiot? I'm not Why are you being so mean? Oh, Just no. say pack you're some things. Helpless. Everyone has to do everything for you. She's right, Kev. Excuse me, puteless. I'm a lot smaller than you. I don't know how to pack a suitcase. Toilet paper and water. Listen, Kevin, what are you so worried about? You know mom's gonna pack your stuff anyway. You're what the French call les incompetents. Okay, well, I liked you for about two minutes, and then you started being a jerk again. But what are you doing? Don't you know how to knock phlegm wad? Can I sleep in your room? I don't want to sleep on the hide bed before. If you have something to drink, you'll wet the bed. I wouldn't let you sleep in my room if you were growing on my ass. Why is everybody such an asshole? Like, Check it out, old man Marley. And this kid is just, like, annoying to me. Who's he? You ever heard of South Bend Shovel Slayer? No. No. That's him. Back in 58, he murdered his whole family and half Aww. the people on his block. With the snow shovel. Been I don't... Out in this neighborhood ever since. What? Well, if he's a shovel slayer, how come the cops don't arrest him? Not enough evidence to convict. Right. So now? Walks up and Putting down holes? <laughs> Salting the sidewalks. Maybe he's just trying to be nice. No way. See that garbage can full of salt? Uh-huh. That's where he keeps his victims. What does salt, salt do? Turns the bodies to mummies. I don't think any of that is a logical uh -huh. statement. People who are always just trying to be nice and live their lives get these really mean tales about them. How many pizzas did they order? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, I don't live here. Oh, you're just around for the holidays? I guess you could say that. Hey, pizza's here! Here's an adult. Talk to the adult, please. Oh, it's my brother's house. He'll take care of you. What the hell? Look in the neighborhood to see if everyone's taking the proper precautions, that's all. 
Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Well, we have uh, automatic cameras for our lights, locks for our doors. That's about as well as anybody can do these days, right? Did you get some eggnog or something like that? Come on, Dev. Let's yeah, see. Right. Did you? You didn't pay the pizza guy. Listen, are you, are you leaving? Uh... I was gonna say, why are? Ew! Uh, why are you eating like that? Oh yeah, we did. Lucky one, eh? Somebody's gonna have to barf it all up. Ugh. It's gone. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. This kid. This. Get a plate. Oh, stop! Why is this family so gross? Good, yeah. You know what? He needs. He needs to be taken down and on. That kid just got crushed. He got in a fight. Is this the first fight you guys have ever had in a family? Sure. Kevin upstairs. Say goodnight, Kevin. Goodnight, Kevin. I hate this family. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This house is just crazy. We've got all these extra kids running around. My brother-in-law drove in from Ohio today. Nobody cares. Just give him the hundred and twenty-two dollars. Bring more cheese pizzas. Nice tip. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Having a reunion or Will something? you leave? Oh, no, my husband's brother transferred to Paris last summer, and both of his kids are still going to school here, and I guess he missed the whole thing. And he's giving us all this trip to Paris for the holiday so we can be together. I'm sorry. Uh, it's too late. Get upstairs. Why are you being like this? Everyone in this family hates me. Then maybe you should ask Santa for a new family. I don't want a new family. I don't want any family. Family suck. Just stay up there. I don't want to see you again for the rest of the night. I don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life. I you know, don't see anybody else either. This kid, I, mean that. I you, maybe you he does. Tomorrow morning, and you didn't have a family. Well, maybe don't treat him like shit all the time, and he'd feel differently. Maybe it'll happen. I hope I never see any jerks again. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. Oh, it messes with their alarm clocks. Oh, the power goes out. oh shoot. So they're gonna think that they're gonna miss their flight. Uh, yep. What's this? Oh, air they're here, the airport people. Oh, shoot. Why are you standing around? Go! Heather, go ahead, Cal. Make sure everyone's in the van. Where are the passports and tickets? Uh, put them in the microwave to dry them off. Okay, Why would you? So what an idiot. Does it have automatic transport? Can this kid be quiet? Does it have four-wheel drive? Don't be a moron. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh. eleven. Okay. Half in this van, half in this van. Oh, Let's go. Oh, Wait. Trip. Bring me back up to French. She counted one of the no way on earth we're gonna make She counted that idiot kid it wouldn't leave. Minutes. Think positive, Frank. Oh, you be positive. I'll be realistic. Man. Man. Can Uncle Excuse Frank me, be uh, any more negative? Know that your power is fixed, but the phone lines are a mess. It's gonna take my bell a couple of days to patch them up. Oh. Especially around the holidays. Okay, thanks. Heather, did you count heads? Eleven, including me. Five boys, six girls, four parents, two drivers, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> This place is probably a zoo during the holidays. See, I don't have to travel during the holidays. Because all my family lives in the same place. So. Did we miss the flight? No, you just made it. Yeah! Okay, wait a second. That door was shut. Don't they usually cut it off when the door shuts? Like, they haven't left yet, but you can't go in after the door shuts. <gasps> Look at that baby! Champagne, please. It's free, isn't it? Oh, yes. That is such a nice plane. They obviously have some freaking money. Hope we didn't forget anything. Your son. Is 
Is he like so dazed he doesn't even know? How do you not notice that no one's around? Put the two pieces together. Ew, that spider. That thing can freaking get whacked, for all I care. I, If you're a spider person, I, I guess don't follow me, because I have no sympathy for spiders. Not in, not for me. Why would they be in the basement, and why does this basement have so much freaking clutter? <laughs> this kid can live it up. Gosh. What is that? Is this. Oh, snags. Ew. He's too young for that. Cool firecrackers. Oh, really? In the middle of winter? Buzz, I'm going through all your private stuff. You better come out and pound me. Really? Oh my gosh, he cuts it so fast. Wow. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? What are you even making? Angels with filthy souls. Is that like a is that a horror movie? Let me see, is this the Sunday thing that everybody talks about? The big Sunday he makes? It's me, Snakes. I got the stuff. Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. All right, Johnny. But what about this looks like a boring movie. Hell yeah, that's some gourmet Easy. shit right there. One, two, ten. Wow. Is this where he learns all the messed up things that he's doing later on in the movie? Wow, this guy's just... Okay, he's dead. He you can stop now. Keep the change, you filthy animal. That's where his saying comes from. Is it nighttime? She just now put it together. What's the matter? Honey? What are you doing? Terrible feeling. Now what? Did you lock up? Yeah. He did not. Did He's just lying. No. Okay. I forgot to close the garage. Well, yeah, your cars are gone, but you and your money bags can just buy another one, huh? No, that's not it. What else could we be forgetting? Your other child. Kevin! Just believe anybody who comes nobody in our house. house. Nobody home. Have automatic timers on their lights. But I got it all figured out. Watch this. Number 664 will be going on right about now. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Number 672. Right. Now. Yeah, but the lights aren't attached to their security <laughs> systems. Wait, wait, wait. Six. 71 now <laughs> and that's the one Marvin that's the silver tuna oh it's very G what does G mean G, huh? it's loaded it's got lots of top flight goods stereos VCRs all oh, right this was the 90s <laughs> where the VCR was really really big okay odd marketable securities who knows it's so funny now because the VCR is so obsolete at this point. He's having a feast. Oh no, they're starting with his house? Why would you start with the biggest one? 
And you're gonna pull up- what an idiot. Have you ever been a criminal before? You're gonna pull up in their in driveway? What an idiot. You don't- Okay, so I'm not a criminal, but what an idiot. You would not pull up into the driveway of the house you're going to freaking rob. If you're gonna be a criminal, at least be a freaking smart criminal. thought you said they were gone. They were supposed to leave this morning. Oh, see, he made it look like there are people here. A wimp would be hiding under a bed. I think a I sensible wimp. I am man of the house. That's a that's the cleanest under bed I've ever seen. Hey, I'm not afraid anymore. Yeah, that's I'm smart. Afraid. Go out and make yourself really known that you're a child and that. Hello. Ah! Huh. Going back inside. He's scared again. Our phone's there out on the corner, so I'd like somebody to go over to our house, tell them that we're coming home to get him. Okay, let me connect you with family crisis intervention. No, it's not what? a family crisis. What? Hold on. Larry, can you pick up? There's some lady on hold. Sounds kind of hyper. Hello. Sounds kind of hyper. Family crisis intervention, Sergeant Balzac. Balzac. <laughs> Alone, and I would like somebody to go over to the house and see that he's all right, just to check on him. You want us to go to your house just to check on him? Yes. I don't know why that's so freaking foreign. No, they just transferred me to you. Rose. Yeah. Hyper on two. On. Hold on, please. No, please don't hang don't. up. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Any luck? No. Couldn't get anybody. Leslie? I'm sorry, Kate. Nothing but a bunch of answering machines. Say policemen or something. There's no one home. The house looks secure. You're such a dumbass. Well, I can't believe that you can't bump somebody or ask somebody or. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can do that. Well, isn't there a way, like, if you ask somebody? I mean, if you brought somebody up there, here and you explained I, I, to them that this is an emergency. I cannot ask someone. They're sending a policeman over to the house to check on Kevin. Well, that's a relief. Everything here is booked. <sighs> There's nothing to Chicago? There's nothing to Chicago, New York, Nashville, you name it. Everything's gone. What about a private plane? No, I'm sorry. We don't do that. The only thing they have is a booking for all of us on Friday morning. Friday morning? That's two days away. How do you guys, yeah, with as rich as you are, you can't can find this. other ways no, to get back? Over to Rob's, and that way we can call the police again, and they can get back to us. Are they going to Paris, and the parents are... Wait a damn second. Wait a damn second. Do not knock that spider, I swear, don't freaking knock the spider on the ground. I am gonna lose my shit. Absolutely not. The spider's on the floor. The spider's on the floor. And you got a concussion. Oh, he. Ugh. No, 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 no. What the hell? Oh, these are these two people. Oh my gosh, they're trashing their shit. Sir, none of that is valuable. You know, you're one of the great cat burglars of the world, Mars. You think you could keep it down a little in there, huh? Guys are making yourself very known for burglars. Chuck, this is Peter McAllister again, and we're still in Paris at my brother's apartment. Let me give you the number here, okay? The country code is 33. The area code is 14. Hey, Harry? Yeah? That house we were at last night, was that the McAllister's? Yeah. You're right. They're gone. That's cool. What is that thing? I knew they were. Silver tuna tonight. Fresh. Oh, shoot. Is that them? Do you know, is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? Just say yes. Just say yes. 
His boot's not done. What are you doing? That's that guy again. Hello? You're scaring him. Why don't you say something? He's eight. And it's a toothbrush. Just throw the toothbrush back. Why do you need this toothbrush so badly? Just throw it. Oh no, now he's gonna go through. Oh, why would you ski? Oh, they were playing hockey. <laughs> Can you not just take their shit? Why do you have to damage their house also? So funny. So funny. You did it again, didn't you? You left the water running, didn't you? <laughs> Is that like a thing for him? Why do you do that? I told you not to do it. Harry, it's our calling card. Oh, all the great ones leave their mark. We're Idiots, the maybe you left your freaking DNA all over the place, you idiot. And I don't understand. That's like a weird thing to do. I don't understand what the the thrill there is. You left a sink on. You're gonna hit that child. That's that guy. He knows that. And he, I bet he knows as well, unless he's really stupid. What's the matter? I don't like the way that kid looked at me. Did you see that? You ever seen him before? I saw a hundred kids this way. Let's see what house he goes into. No. Don't watch him. Oh, now you're gonna follow. <sighs> so, so frustrating. What an idiot. He knows you're fucking following him. He's not stupid. Watch them watch them start the car again. You could not be any more obvious right now that that's what you're doing. Don't don't run to your house. Oh, he's going to the church. Say a truck's following me. Maybe we're in the church. I'm not going in there. Me neither. Uh, let's get out of here. Where did he go? He didn't blend in. Oh, he did, but he did it like he covered up. Oh, he's making it look like there's people here. Did they come back? Iris. They could be renting out their house, you don't know. Kevin! How? This kid's a freaking genius. Do you speak English? Uh, parlez anglais. What is it? I mean, um, it's the uh, un person qui parle anglais. I'm gonna say, does anybody know I French know after coming to Paris? No, I mean, I'm not saying you can't visit Paris unless you know French, but like, did nobody touch up even a little bit? This is so pointless. What? We're here riding in this apartment. Kevin's at home. Mom's at the airport. So? You're not at all worried about Kevin. Why should I be? No, he's acted like a jerk once too many times, and this time he- You act like a jerk all the time. He's a little unhelpless. Don't you think he's flipped out? A little trout can use a couple of days in the real world. You're not at all worried that something might happen to him. Oh, is he getting sick of being by himself? I don't know 
know why your family were just kind of not good people. I'll come back. I'll never be a pain in the butt again. I promise. Oh. How much? How many days did he last? Like two days, three days? <sighs> Ew! The spider's back. Oh my gosh, he's shopping. Is nobody going to approach this child and ask that they're okay? He's shopping on his own. And he's eight. Is nobody going to stop him and ask him if he's alright? And how is he paying for this? Really? You're not going to say anything? Are those microwave dinners any good? I don't know. I'll give him a whirl. The kids. He's eight. On, You're shocked because he bought army men? It was in the paper this morning. 1983. Okay. I bet he doesn't have that much. He bought pizza. Are you here all by yourself? Yes. Ma'am, I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. Go ahead. On your way. I'm sorry. Excuse me, you have places to go, people to see. Got yeah. a ticket there. It's good. Excuse me. Look. <laughs> I have been awake for a while. Shoved her back out of the way. I'm tired and I'm dirty. I have been from Chicago to Paris to Dallas to... Where the hell am I? Scranton. I am trying to get home to my eight-year-old son. And now that I'm this close, you're telling me it's hopeless. Oh, I'm sorry. No. No, 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 no. Wait. This is Christmas. The season of perpetual hope. No, but here in your, you got a little bit of a dilemma there. We got a she said it loud. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. Gus Polinski. Hold on. Polka King of the Midwest. No. The, the, the Kenosha Kickers. No. Hi there. Hi, yeah. No? No. That's okay. I thought you might have recognized. Anyways, um, I had a few hits a few years ago. Uh, Where's this going? Hurry up. Polka, polka, polka. polka. Polka, polka, polka. Very big at Sheboygan. They loved it, you know. That's great. Did you say you could help me? A anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Yeah, okay. a lot. Our flight was canceled, so we gotta drive. So, uh, see the guy in the yellow jacket over there by the budget sign? He's gonna rent us a nice big uh, van, and we're gonna drive to Milwaukee. Now, I heard you had some problems. You're uh, getting to Chicago with, to see your kid or something? Uh, my son, he... We left, and he... He's there. Oh, jeez. If you have to get to Chicago, we'll, we'll gladly drive you to the way to Milwaukee. I don't know. Are you, are you, at, yeah, what's right? the catch? Sure we will. Why not? You know, you gotta get home and see your kid. A ride to Chicago? Sure, yeah, it's Christmas time. I don't trust him. Thank this you. gives me vibes. Oh, thank you. Why do you no, seem like you're bums. not being helpful? I think we're getting scammed by a kindergartner. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's decorating. This creeper. He freaking knows. Oh gosh. Remember that kid we saw the other day? He lives here. No he shit. Lives parents gotta be. He's home alone. We'll come back about nine o'clock. This way it's dark then. Yeah. Kids are scared of the dark. You're oh. afraid of the dark too, Marv. You know you are. So what is your plan exactly? To take the kids hosh take the kid hostage or what? Because he's gonna know that you're there. Get it ready. Gonna wreak some havoc. Why are we setting up now instead of earlier? The 
gosh, he's got a grill. Ew, not the spider, please. This child is kind of dangerous. What is that? Is that a pop tart or something? Here, watch them park right in front of his house again. Okay, we'll check it out first. We can always come back to the truck. Idiot. This is it. Don't get scared now. Oh my gosh. Kevin's ready to kick ass and take names. That's. Mm -mm. We know that you're in there and that you're all alone. Yeah, come on, kid, open up. No. It's Santa Claus. And it's Elf. <laughs> He's not that not stupid. You. No, no. I got some nice presents for you. What is he gonna do? Is that he's Santa gonna shoot him in the leg? The door. <gasps> shoot! He just shot him with the, with the, what is that called? What? What happened? He just shot him with a BB. He just shot both of you in the two seconds that you got here. Oh, he's gonna, you're gonna slip a disc, you're gonna break a leg. Oh, see, during the winter, we don't stomp upstairs. We don't walk aggressively up staircases. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, I felt all of that. Your bones are just going to be so sore. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Get up and try again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He flipped backward. He's gotta have busted his neck or at least gotten a concussion. Are these guys really getting outsmarted by wet snow? You left the door wide open for you. What are we doing? Don't turn on the light. Why would you do that? Oh, he just hit you with an iron. We should make it a drinking game every time they get hit in the head and have a almost concussion. Is it going to take this dude the whole time to get in the house? Oh, he got it. That handle's hot, though. Third degree burn. And there he goes again. Oh, he's got these are this is glue, okay. Ew, he's getting it all Is he gonna step on the nail? I swear. He better not step on the nail because I can't take what <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> we'll move! Why would you just stand there and keep taking it? This man has been lit on fire.
Now they're gonna be out for blood is the problem. Oh, he's gonna go to the front now? Oh my gosh. And then he's gonna slip on the stairs. Harry! I'm coming in! Hmm. Oh, he's gonna step on the ornaments with bare feet. It's too late for you, kid. We're already in the house. We're gonna get you. Okay, come and get me. Who are you? <laughs> he invented the the walking into a doorway with the bubble wrap. Well, oh, I hate the don't step on the glass, please. I hate when things are stepped on. I can feel this happening. Oh, 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 I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch Oh, I can feel that. Have you ever stepped on an ornament? It hurts like a son of a bitch. Don't keep stepping on it. I swear. <laughs> I can't do the hurting your feet things. I can just feel it. Thirsty for more. I mean, I feel like he's you're really getting outsmarted by an eight-year-old. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh no. I got him, Harry. I got him. Ew. Not the spider, not the spider, not the spider. I got him. Harry, help me get up. Uh, I would absolutely die. I would absolutely die. Ooh. That's me. That's me with any spider ever. Ew. Well, yeah, I would be. It was designed by an eight-year-old, and you're gonna put all your man weight on it? And you're shimmying across with your bare hands? At least he's got gloves on. Oh, my gosh. Go back! Retreat! Yeah, you really didn't have time to go back. Wow. Oh, to someone else's house? There he is. Hey, I'm calling the cops. Wait, 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 wait. He wants us to follow him. I got a How did that work out last time? Did he Wait a second. Coat hook? What are you gonna do to him, Harry? Do exactly what he did to us. Which is burn his head with a blowtorch. Okay. And smash his face with an iron. Uh-huh. Slap him right in the face with a paint. <gasps> that guy. First thing I'm gonna do is bite off every one of these little fingers one at a time. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> he got him. Oh, he saved him. Wet bandits. Wet bandits. Shut up. Shut up. You were you were gonna get caught at some point anyway. Oh, his mom still hasn't come back yet. No, he looks at him. That's the PG way of like flipping him off. No. Oh. 
Oh, she's coming! She's coming right now! Don't. I thought he was gonna start setting up booby traps again. She's back. Thanks for forgetting me, Mom. You're gonna owe him for a while. <laughs> He's gonna be getting some cheese pizzas for a while. That's great. Home Alone. That was my first time watching Home Alone. Now, um, I'm kind of trying to collect my thoughts because I feel like I don't want to rush into saying anything. So, okay. So it was a good movie. It was good. I think a lot of the popularity of why people wanted me to watch it so badly was because it's a nostalgia thing for that person or those people who really, really, really love it, and it's like their all-time favorite Christmas movie, I think a lot of it is nostalgia, because it's a good movie, it's a good concept, It's it works. But is it the best Christmas movie, in my opinion? No, I don't think so, but I can see why it's cute, I can see why it's iconic, I can see why it's quotable. I just don't know that it's, like, my favorite, favorite, favorite. I would think that, like, my main favorites are, like, A Christmas Story, Polar Express... Grinch was in there for a hot second, but did I enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was cute. I just don't know that I'd watch it again and again and again and again, but I'm glad I checked it out, and I'm glad that I finally took the advice from people and sat down and at least tried this movie because there's so many Christmas movies that I'm sure I haven't seen that people say are classics, and I just haven't taken the time to try them out. But I don't know. I think it worked. I think that there were a lot of things that I was like, this is really dumb. How is nobody aware of their surroundings? Like, this child is by himself 99% of the time and, like, nobody says or does anything except the lady who was the cashier. And she didn't even deep dive that much. She didn't even do any more research beyond that. And then the criminals were just plain stupid. There are lots of times in here where I'm like, if you're going to be a criminal, why don't you be a smart criminal? Why don't you do the things that criminals who don't want to be caught do. But anyway, aside from all the rambling, I thought it was a, it was an okay movie. I thought it was cute. It was definitely hol um, holiday festive. It was definitely Christmassy. So I'm glad that we picked this one to start off the holiday season. I have so many more movies in mind, so stay tuned. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye!